need of the message of the Lord in his channel is still a small voice entitled Honeymoon with Jesus in Heaven. This was on May 12, 2015. Words from Lord Jesus to Sister Claire in his channel is still a small voice. And I because it's too long, I will just have to to select the beautiful verses that depicts the beauty of heaven. I will share this for your encouragement so that those who are uh, striving to be the bride of Christ can still do it, still have time. So, this is the first there, the wedding. I'll look After the wedding, because the description is a bit uh, long, I will not uh, share all of this. The scene here well, I will begin here a bit how he began. It all began very innocently. Claire said, I saw the Lord dancing with me in a rather busy area. I was wondering, what is all this activity about? Well, I noticed his collar was unbuttoned and his tuxedo tie was loose around his neck. After a few more moments, I saw that his lips were rolled up and wondered why in the world would his sleeves be rolled up? I think he really delights in surprising me and making me guess about what he is up to. Well, then I saw he was wearing a kitchen apron. <laughs> Just then an angel without wings passed by with something that looked like a roasted chicken, hot and steaming on a platter. I get it. He's helping to prepare the wedding supper. Well, we danced a bit more and I just adored and worshipped him to the music. At times he sang over me and he spoke encouraging words. After a brief while, a helicopter landed nearby and the Lord took me by the arm and helped me climb aboard. Before I knew it, we were airborne and headed to a large blimp-shaped ship that was hovering in the sky. The helicopter flew into a landing area in the black of the blimp and we jumped out. Then I saw the blimp-like ship begin to move slowly and then totally disappear into space. In the next scene, the Lord and I were on a beach beside the ocean. I was wearing pedal pushers in close parentheses capris and a blouse. The Lord was also wearing pedal pushers and a white shirt that hung loose and was very casual and comfortable. We were on our honeymoon. Wow! Very high, dark, leva, rock, cliffs around the cave we were walking in. The waves were coming in rather forcefully, but as soon as we got near the water, they melted down into placid lapping waves as if to breathe us and make our work more quiet and calm. Imagine, but not before the waves tossed up a brilliant pink conch shell right at my feet. The Lord looked at me smiling, pick it up, as I did, pearls began to roll out from inside. Then emeralds and rubies, all of a deep color and skillfully facetted, revealing their clarity and deep colors. I was delighted and tossed them up in the air. Then I thought to myself, I should save this and share them with others. And as I thought of that, they all picked themselves up off the sun and gathered again into the cons. So, he, he embraced me. And dance with me right there on the beach. Wow. And I thought to myself, this is the most romantic moment of my life. It's picture perfect. Soon we were sitting beside a stream of crystal clear water that fed into the ocean. 
Last firm's line, the rocks as it descended. I don't remember what we were eating, but Jesus said to me, Oh, here comes trouble. Just then my huge African male lion, Judah, came lumbering up the beach just in time for lunch. We giggled as we fed him morsels. I looked behind me and a large serving of meat-looking food appeared catching Judah's fancy. He forgot about our picnic and had his own. Soon Gracie, our Siamese colored boma cat, came weeping, mewing, just up to us for her share. Then our ha then our other cats, little Judah, an Abyssinian gray cat that had marking just like a mountain lion, came up to Big Judah in his characteristic greeting, sniff his mouth and nose very studi studiously. Big Judah, far from being antagonistic at this intrusion, greeted him with a gentle nod. After we finished our lunch, I got up to my feet in the water. And along came some natives running towards us down the beach. Oh, they gathered around us so joyfully as if we were long lost friends, fingering my hair and shared with great curiosity and affection. They made it obviously they wanted to take me in a dug out canoe for a ride while Jesus sat on the beach. Soon we were moving swiftly along in the calm water and just really enjoying one another's company. Well, that was short. Jesus soon came walking on the water to rescue his bride, whom he was very jealous over. Wow. He took me to a place a little farther, inland where the waters were crystal clear and calm. I stood on the ground and looked down into these pools of water that were teeming with exotic colorful fish in a background of white sand. Oh, they were amazing colors, so brilliant. The Lord and I were soon swimming with them, and he was showing me around this underwater wonderland. Oh, it's underwater. I remember a place just like this in the Yucatan in Mexico. It was a tourist destination, and the fish were something to behold. I had never seen anything like it. It was like an underwater aquarium with the most colorful fish he ever created, all gathered together in looking glass water. The scene changed again, and this time we were dancing on the deck of a cruise ship. The angels had put a blanket over the sky, so it seemed like night time. A waiter came by and offered us some champagne. The Lord took a glass and handed it to me. Then he took his glass and said, I shall not drink of the fruit of the vine until the kingdom of God comes, and lifted his glass. Crossing my arm with his, so he drank from my glass, and I drank from his. Then fireworks began to shoot off up into the sky. Beautiful! What a celebration of our love! He was so delighted to see me enthralled by this awesomely perfect event on our honeymoon. Wow, oh, I wanted to stay there forever! <laughs> After a few minutes, the Lord began to speak. We should talk. No, I want to stay here at night. Okay, Lord, if I don't write this all down now, won't I forget? Are you kidding me? I see if Holy Spirit will forget. Here I am, Lord, all ears, no more tears. I should hope not. That was just a tinshi, tiny glimpse into our wedding reception and honeymoon. Oh, Lord, that should hold me for a long time. No, it won't. Be honest. You will be back here before the night is out. One thing more, I know you too well. You are always right. What's the use of arguing? You will do it anyway. You, I'm too happy to be contentious. What would you like to talk about tonight? Our honeymoon. He smiled with a twinkle in his eye. Oh, that was truly ecstatically awesomeness. Well, my bride, that is merely a glimpse into what it will be like once you are here in heaven with me. Wow, a glimpse. Oh, Lord, I'm still floating on cloud nine with you. 
cloud nine that is in heaven's nine dimensional i think that is what it means here i can barely focus on writing this all down so infused with joy am i and that was merely a whiff of joy from your honeymoon and i say to you all my brides i have a wonderful escape to paradise planned for you all Oh, you have no idea. I has not seen, ear has not heard the wonders I have prepared for all of you in heaven. After the wedding supper, we will disappear into paradise and spend our days joyfully exploring the oceans, mountains, forests, and streams of living water in heaven. Each of you has a very particular place that is in your dreams as a wonderful place to be. Understand. I know all about that place. I have been there and seen the things you have as well as read your minds as to what else you would love to see there. And I have down to the last detail prepared many places for you that we will frequent during our honeymoon. Wow. You will even meet people there who are longing to see you, as well as your favorite animals. My wedding presents to you, wow, everything on earth you ever dream of doing, we shall do together in heaven, and these places shall be ours to return to time and time again. They each are tailored exactly to your tastes, wow. There are longings in each of your hearts to visit places you have been, you have seen, excuse me, in passing. In heaven, these places are real just for you. What joy will be yours as I answer all the questions you could ever have about creation and you are able to observe its beauty microscopically just by desire. You will even be able to walk into tiny worlds and explore their patterns and composition. Nothing, absolutely nothing will be impossible to you. Wow! Our honeymoon will be a whole year long as you and I experience one another together in an innocent and pure relationship. There will not be a care in the world for the entire time. It shall be nothing but a paradise and seemingly an ending vacation. Wow! All this is necessary to adjust you to heaven and its joys. You will never exhaust all of them, but you certainly will have an entirely new reality and outlook on life. Just imagine the beauty of heaven. No more pain, no more fatigue, no more bills. Oh yes, you are going to love it. Everything necessary will be provided free of charge. Every discipline you have ever wanted to master will be given into your hands with barely an effort. Inner scars will be healed and you will be released into a new freedom unlike anything you have ever known. Beloveds, on this earth you have scars, wounds, broken and empty places and you are truly war torn. That is true, but in heaven all of you will be restored. You will express creativity in everything you put your hands to. Parts of you that were exp that were suppressed on the earth will come into full bloom and spread their fragrance throughout the courts of heaven. Truly the godlike nature given you at your creation will bloom and put out the most fragrant flowers and nourishing fruits. Your gifts will heal others as the anointing flows freely for the first time in your life. It will flow so freely that it will reach to the farthest corners of heaven to heal and enhance all who are touched. Oh. I will stop here. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's still long. So it is part because it is almost time. Uh, it's so encouraging indeed to know all these things beforehand uh, so that we will remain to hold on our faith, to love Him as ever. And this is a very, very promising future. Imagine.
starting. It is now all revealed. Bye for now. God bless you.